This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell? I can do anything I want you to do anytime I want you. This episode of Openly Hostile Opinions has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access provides state-of-the-art multi-layered security with advanced privacy protection using VPN tunneling. When you use Private Internet Access, not even your ISP can tell what you're doing online. Prevent throttling and other people from eavesdropping on what you do. If you want to help out Openly Hostile Opinions and get yourself this wonderful VPN package, go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn again that is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn sign up for private internet access today welcome to the show everyone hello, hello. Hello on Facebook. Hello on YouTube. Hello on Periscope. Uh, how you guys doing? Hey, uh, for those, I'm just gonna get this off the off our chest right away. For those of you on Facebook, if you comment, we may not see it, but we will see uh, Periscope and YouTube comments. So if you comment on either of those two platforms, we'll see it. So yeah. Facebook's welcome. acting like wonky for some reason. It won't let me show. I don't know. It's it's just acting weird. I don't know. Fucking Mark Zuckerberg. Suck a dick. Suck a bird. <laughs> well, that and if we want to be able to like live watch the Facebook chat as well, we're going to have to pay people money that we don't have. So, yes. you know, that too. Um, I felt like I was really high there. Me. I was like tolerant. What's that? Uh, uh, this delay is killing me. <laughs> oh, is it really? Yeah. See, uh, Greg is over where I usually am because he's going to be uh, tweaking the sounds and everything. This is why we were... Um, basically mess around with everything the last two episodes because we we were able to do more with it we have a nice little box here it's hooked up through a mixer he can change every like everything he can do us individually he can do whatever he wants yeah and pretty much why. craig's now the director <laughs> yes <laughs> so so that works out fine um so he's 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 pretty much going to be paying attention to that it might be just uh me and jay talking a lot uh, that's okay because because um, I hear everything about ten seconds later. Yeah, he hears everything about ten seconds later. Uh, Chelm says you guys all look so good in the dark. Uh, is it too dark? Uh, yeah. Can you boost up the camera, camera shit brightness? Yeah. Because we hopefully. were saying that before when uh, we were looking at everything. For some reason, expert records darker. So uh, we were just wondering. It's just it's on. camera settings. Yeah. Um. So yeah, like we said, uh, I hope you like the new sound. Uh. Do we sound more professional? <laughs> really, the podcast listeners will know, know about that. Speaking of which, hello, podcast listeners. We haven't forgot about you, too. All this stuff is uh, to make people who watch the show easier, but we still love you listeners as well, and we figured this would help us with the audio quality. So hopefully you enjoy that, too. Uh, by the way, I wanted to talk to all you patrons out there who are patrons of ours. Um, I switched us to a monthly subscription fee instead of a by-episode fee. As I said, I was going to. It makes our lives a lot easier. However, your pledges, now whatever you're paying per episode is now what you're paying per month. If you want to change that uh, to boost it back up, we also have some new uh, We have some new reward tiers. If you do change to another reward tier, you can get yourself another fresh reward. Uh, so if you want to check that out. So uh, go to patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Uh, we have some pretty cool shit we're going to be trying to do here pretty soon. So if you wanted to contribute to that, we'd appreciate it. We're trying to launch our own OHO Net radio station. Uh, for those of you who might have skipped the last couple of shit shows we had, uh, we really we love music. We're big rock and metal fans, and uh, we were talking a while back about trying to get I a like show. EDM. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, some of that too. But we were uh, trying to get some. Uh, oh, now you have herpes. We were trying to get on... Uh, get <laughs> God, this is so weird. I know it is. I, I feel like everything's so set up. Like, if I touch anything, it's going to break. You probably will. Don't touch anything. <laughs> wait, wait, what was Jay saying? Because I'm just now hearing it. 
<laughs> yeah, sorry to cut you off there. I Jay. was just explaining that uh, if a while back we were talking to Gimme Radio and seeing about getting a show on there, and those talks sort of uh, sort of fell to the wayside. Mm-hmm. Hey, Cricket, hello. Holy fuck, Cricket, where have you been? Welcome, welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, I guess that uh, patron message applies to you, too. You're going to have to go back in and re-edit your pledge if you want to continue with that. Uh, but we're just glad to see you back. We're glad to see everybody. <laughs> Don't touch it, Casey, Amanda says. Uh, anyway, so um, we're trying to get that radio station launched. It's going to be really cool if we can do it, but we need to get to 100 a month. That's the only way we can afford to do it. Been busy living. That's good, Cricket. I'm glad you're glad you're living it up, man. That's the way it is. I'm glad you're not snorting condoms like kids are these days. <laughs> we can talk about that later. Did you hear about that? Oh yeah, I heard yeah, about kids, that. The new it's challenge. not new. Whatever. <laughs> it's new to me. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Cricket says much love. I will definitely do that. Hey, thank you very much. Like I said, we're trying to get to a hundred dollars a month. If we can do that, we're going to launch our own streaming radio service. We're going to use our show. Uh, our podcast is like our morning show, perhaps. Um. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, you'll get to hear what we like to listen to. We'll be able to share music with you. We'll put on all of our friends, and maybe we can drum up some YouTube celebrity or somebody to be DJs. Yeah, because it should be really it, cool. Because when I was talking to Jay about it, I was asking him about it, and he said basically what's going to happen is it's going to be running 24-7. When it's mm-hmm. running 24-7, it's going to be playing older episodes of us and everything and music. like that. Yes, uh, music. Say I'm bored one night and I just want to hop on real quick and have like a show. I can do a live show whenever I want. Stop the old stuff, and then whenever I'm done, I can keep continue playing the old stuff and keep going. Greg can do it. Jay can do it. We can have a friend do it. it right, doesn't matter. right. We'll we'll, the, we'll try to have live DJs as often as possible, but it does automate as well. Uh, Mandy, you cannot see Cricket because she's commenting on YouTube. Yeah, we now have a common uh, combined chat that we can see. Uh, we can see where wherever you guys are posting, except Facebook. We have to kind of like go back in and refresh it manually. But um, you actually as, see the Facebook chat? It's, I, I don't. See I'm anything. refreshing it. See, he he's talking. You refresh it. Yeah, but see what he's doing is I'm on the actual live stream. He's just talking to Amanda what he re redid. Okay. No, no. This is this is off of my live post. Yeah. Uh, he he was talking to someone At, off of his live post. I'm on here. I don't. Ding see ding anything. ding! Cricket got. A, Cricket won the prize. She figured out it was the Konami code. <laughs> Did she? Yeah. Oh, man, that's crazy. Yeah, we, we finally got some dry race markers. We're going to put some shit on there. Just have fun with it or whatever like that. We are eventually going to put a, put the chat live in the video at some Maybe. point or another. Maybe. Then you guys will be able to see it if somebody's commenting from another platform. That's the hopes. Yeah. We still got things to iron out, but we're really trying to make some improvements here. And hopefully if we uh, make enough money, we can uh, stream uh, or tie Facebook to it. For some reason, the program that we use is all free, except, except if you want to use that, Facebook. Right? Yeah, Mark yeah, Zuckerberg that's... is a turd burg. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the restream people. That, yeah, you that fucking want the money. piece of shit. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, in control of the soundboard this time, and it's, it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be a night. <laughs> Cr- Cricket oh, said, I can't hear it. That's why <laughs> no, I'm delayed. I was like, I'm... Cricket says there's a prize. <laughs> we're the prize. Yeah, we're the prize. You get to deal with us all all the time. But yeah, like we said, we're we're streaming to YouTube, Periscope, and um, Facebook right now. We're gonna get on Twitch. Um, That's coming very soon. Yeah, probably next week because this seems to be working great. Like Greg fixed the the CPU problem. Uh, for some reason, Skype was doing it. Uh, the GPU was running at 100 percent. Now it's only at 25 percent. So uh, that seems to be good. No, that's G- GPU, CPU. We're still oh, good though. We're still, CPU's yeah, at like fifty percent, but we're still it's yeah, better still than a hundred. Right. We were we were really fucking it up. But uh yeah, like we said, uh people are uh, snorting condoms now. How do you guys feel yeah, about I've that? Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people? Well, to to rip something that I uh one of my in laws posted on Facebook about this, uh uh yeah, they <laughs> their parents should have used a condom too. Yeah, exactly. clearly they clearly they don't know how to use a condom, and neither did their parents. Yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about, uh, basically it's like the old spaghetti trick. You can snort some spaghetti and pull it through your mouth and go like you know back and forth. Well, they're doing it with condoms. Well, I guess. In your case, you could put a whole rigatoni up there. Yeah, fuck it, rigatoni, Italian. I killed I killed people for a living. And then hide behind it with a pizzeria. <laughs> Cr- Cricket says, got to run loves off to be the queen of the silver dollar. I'm not sure what that means, but <laughs> you go ahead and be queen of the silver dollar. Thanks for popping in. We absolutely appreciate uh, seeing you again. I uh, Yeah, thanks, Cricket. We, we thought you, like, something happened we to you. We thought you died. Yeah, see, right now it just said Amanda uh, joined the chat on Facebook. So what's up, Amanda? It says that you're oh, watching now. How, how the hell did you do that? See, you're on the thing that you shared. So okay? should I do this? Y- yeah, you need to go to the actual live 
video. Yeah, I don't know how this shit works. I don't know Facebook at It'll all. It'll say you're live. Well, fantastic. Though. Yeah. Outstanding. I Yeah, I don't know shit about Facebook. I really don't. And uh, it should now click on it. Click on it. Yeah. Hey, yeah, look at that. Go. Now we can see live chat from yes. Facebook, too. Um, like we said, they charge you 15 fucking bucks for some reason for Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I'm just glad that this condom thing is uh, coming out right when uh, we're trying to change our constitution from the words of 15 and 16 year olds. Bruno says, hey, guys, what's <laughs> up? What's happening, Bruno? What's up, Bruno? How you doing? Because you have some lesbian haircut bitch that's like 16 trying to change. What's that bitch's name? You know what I'm talking about? I have no idea. What you have. I never know what you're talking about. Uh, this gun control thing about David Hogg and all that fucking shit. You know who David Hogg is? That guy that looks uh, oh, like... Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not paying attention to that whole thing. I'm really not. I'm trying to stay out of it. Yeah. I, I just... We, we usually don't get into politics, but I wanted to bring this up. Uh, I forget what her name is, but she's like a lesbian or something. She's like 16 because, you know, you know at that age. Uh, but it came out that she admitted that she was actually bullied the shooter since middle school. <laughs> And oh, gee, I she, wonder she wants, why he was upset. Yeah, and she wants to take everyone's guns away, but she was the one bullying him since middle school. She said for about three years that she, uh, you know, gave him trouble and everything like that. So I, I just thought that was well, funny. At least you can <laughs> admit it, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I just, I just... Well, speaking of guns, did you guys hear that there's an active shooter situation going on right now? Yeah, you too. California headquarters? Yeah, I heard I about that. I bet you it's somebody who got demonetized. Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say those little fucking bastards, you say that, say, say fuck, and then all of a sudden they get... Nah. You know what? I bet you it was Aaron Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. He's like, suicide for us. I'm going to homicide everybody. Fucking Aaron Paul's like, you demonetize me. I demonetize your face. Yeah, well, wait. Uh, wasn't he the one that just... Uh, he did the Japanese suicide for us. He got in trouble for that. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, a week later, when it, all of it started settling down, he made a video about tasering rats or something like that. It's like... Frogs, I thought. Yeah. It's like, dude, what are you Settle doing? down, man. Who? Oh, uh, no, Aaron oh, Paul. I thought someone was not going you, off the chat. Not you, you jackass. I don't know. I guess I guess uh, it's just anything to do for fame right now. I, I suppose. Guess. I, I That's what it has to be. What else could it be? You can't be that retarded. Speaking of retarded things, I got a story. I don't like them putting chemicals <laughs> in the water. Sorry, I had to play it. the freaking frogs game. Had to play it. Had to play it. Uh, I see Tig joined us. Hello, Tigger. Thanks What's up, for Tigger? Joining. How you doing, man? Uh, so I, I got a couple of stories this week. I actually did show prep. Be oh, proud nice. of me. I did show prep. Uh, so Cali uh, uh, speaking of California, you know what? That's another reason there was an active shooter. Apparently the guy got mad because coffee must now carry a cancer warning label. Really? Well, yeah, you know how California is very strict about oh, all yeah. that. They're all like fucking hoity toity, like fucking, you know, blah, blah, blah. Either know it's a shithole. Like I just went to California last year. There's trash everywhere. Like there's fucking homeless people tent cities all over the fucking place makes me want to yeah but anyway now now a federal judge ruled that uh or a state i don't know anyway a judge ruled that uh coffee must carry now a warning label because something in the roasting process can, can release a carcinogen mm -hmm. but at this point everything's a carcinogen the oh, air yeah. you breathe the water you drink oh, the yeah. car you drive well, that's the like they say you, drugs you do yeah the oh, drugs greg, you do greg passed his hepatitis test he got an a b and c <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Man, that's got some bass to it now. Yeah, I know. Actually, I got another. I like the sound. The sound I got another joke really for you. Yeah, I've been adjusting that every time you do it. So. <laughs> I think it's the worst joke I've ever heard. Uh, it's racist, so hopefully we don't get banned. <laughs> uh, Melvin Durhammer likes our video. If you're listening, Mel, thanks for thanks, thanks for Mel. liking us. Love you, long time. Um, what is the difference between a Jew and Santa Claus? Wait, 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 wait. Santa Claus goes down the chimney, whereas the Jew goes up <laughs> yeah, the chimney. Yeah, it's the direction of the chimney. <laughs> uh, that's, that's I heard bad. that the other day. It's bad you said it. It's bad I got it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I fucking love it. It's great. In fact, I think you said it last week, too. Did I? Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I know I said a joke last week, but I can't remember I think which that one been was. It. Oh, was it? Damn it. I was all, I was all happy and stuff like that. Ugh. It's my fault. Whatever. <laughs> Mandy says, oh, damn. Yeah, um... No, I think I said something else different last week, but I can't remember what it was. Um, I don't know. But, yeah, uh, putting a label on coffee, I, I was thinking it has to be something in the process. Yeah, it was that a roasting doing process. It because uh, coffee's so natural, you can't really process it. Well, lots of natural things are carcinogens. You walk out in the fucking sun and you get cancer. Yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, this whole cancer thing, you're either going to get it or you won't, you yeah. know? Take precautions. Don't do something stupid. But who's going to stop drinking coffee? Well, that's the bad thing about cancer. Like, in the 80s, it was AIDS. And at least with AIDS, you could, you know, use protection or not 
to have sex. This, it's like, we don't know what gives us cancer. We're just like, hey, everything gives you cancer. I know in Russia, uh, my Cancer gets you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, uh, rim shot, man. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> You're going to work the soundboard, dude. I know. Right. I just, I got to get used to it, man. It's hard to find which ones. I, this well, has been stuck I in don't... my head all day. Speaking of which, Mark Hammer, if you're watching, we want to get you back on the show as yeah, a guest sometime soon. I don't know where the hell we're going to put you, but... Yeah, I know. If uh, she does have that other camera, that might be something we could work with. Yeah, that is. Because um, that's what we really want to do with this whole setup. We want to make it that we each have our own little section. We and we just switch have, cameras Yeah, we can just switch cameras. Because um, I know there's programs or ways you can do it that when you're talking, the camera switches. Or at it. least nothing else. We could have a couch over there with our guests. Yeah, That'd exactly. Be cool. Uh, because I think a lot of our sound issues and everything like that is well cross talk from the mics being too yeah close. The, our mics are really close and everything like that. I did have something I wanted to bring up though that I thought you would love. And my you might dick. have already seen it. Yeah, <laughs> I love my dick. And it's Got up. it that time, baby. All right. So what do you want to bring? Um, so apparently, I think it was in California. These people were protesting. Um, they were vegans. They were protesting meat is murder outside of this guy's restaurant. We talked about it last week. Did we? Yes, we did. Did we? Fuck. Where, where were you last week? I don't know. Where was it? And Jesus he, Christ. And you went right in front of him and cut it right in front of yeah. him? I don't think we talked about that yeah, last week. No, I don't think we did. It's all in my fucking pocket. Do, do you we remember talking about that last week? Say again. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember talking about vegans um, protesting at a restaurant and a guy cut up a deer in front of him or something? Yeah, we talked about it. No, I mean, last week was kind of a shit show. So I don't, yeah, I don't remember. Really we did. About that at all. all right, for those of you who we probably turned us off have. after three seconds, <laughs> a bunch of vegans came and protested this guy's restaurant, and uh, he served like wild game and things like that, um, as wild as you're allowed to legally. And uh, the vegans came to protest, so he decided to set up his own little protest in the front window and carved the meat off of a deer leg. <laughs> So some of them had see, said they got like PTSD and shit. Oh from my it. god, Jesus Christ! I hate how that word's fucking thrown around like nobody fucking gives a shit. You don't have post traumatic stress. You know what it is? Your parents raised you wrong. You're a fucking pussy. pussy. That's what it is. God, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Let, let's listen. To I don't even know what that means. <laughs> let's just listen to some of the uh, some of the some of the comments from the vegans. I just. I, and, and the funny thing is, is why I wanted to bring it up, like I said, is is it reminded me of something you would do. Like, that's the... That's well, what makes you think I'd be that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you would do that. I would do that. You hate vegans. <laughs> and yeah, so do I. Um, but I, it, it just... And uh, like I said, we were just talking about guns, too. Some 40-year-old guy shot a gun for the first time and said he got post-traumatic stress from it. And then they had, like, an 8-year-old shoot the same as that gun, and she loved it. It's just... It's if if you get post traumatic stress from someone cutting up meat, you're a fucking pussy. Go outside and kill yourself. Just jump in traffic. You heard it from me. If I if you know you do it, I'll pay you money. Just do it. Kill yourself off yourself. Carve yourself up like he was doing with that deer leg. <laughs> I can't stand it anymore. All right. Well, on, on to the next thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So listen listen to this shit. Uh the the vegan says, I don't think there's any such thing. It's very misleading that they're calling these wild animals the deer and the boar. But they're actually being farmed. So they're not living in the wild. They're just being bred and killed. Uh, uh, see, if you knew anything about meat, you know, what we mean by game stuff is that there's they're not processed at all. They're right off... You know, I go out and I shoot a deer. I take it to this guy. He fucking cups it up for me. We don't put ammonia on it. We don't inject it full of steroids and all that bullshit. That's what they mean. And if you weren't so fucking retarded, maybe you would know that. I'm sorry. I hate these people. Yeah. So, th <laughs> so this bitch who who who's like running this deal is called Marnie Uger. U U G A R. Mo what? What was Marnie Uger or Uger? You Stop breaking the law, <laughs> Uh, she's an animal rights activist who runs a dog walking business. Does anybody see the fucking irony in this? Oh, Jesus Christ! She runs man. a dog walking business. And see, and see that th this is another thing. Like I saw some bitch. She walked into a Chick Fil A, okay, while everyone was eating, stepped on these people's table while they're eating, and started screaming about how chickens murder and all this shit. It's like get no a, one cares. Yeah, get a fucking life. You like, know what else chicken oh, is? Bobby's fucking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, but I love it. Listen to this quote. The goal always is for a restaurant to go fully vegan. Yeah, because everybody wants to live the way you do. To reduce the animals they kill for me isn't good enough. 
Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I hope they fucking die. I hope you all get AIDS and you fucking die of, like, starvation. You guys are all fucking pussies. And here's the thing. And this is why I said the, the world needs a good cleansing. Like, a good fucking Noah, Noah's Ark story shit. Because people are so spoiled, they're complaining about food. Preach, where you, brother. Where Preach. you should be lucky enough to fucking We could be eat. in Africa where you don't get food. I know, exactly. And they're fucking bitch. And this is why I said we are so spoiled in America, that's why we bitch about everything. Because we have nothing else better to do. Because I guarantee if the fucking whole world was in a nuclear fallout you wouldn't be bitching if your food was vegan or not you'd be well eating anything to be can. fair those people would die out pretty fast yeah and that's the thing <laughs> that's why there needs to be natural selection to all the people that were vegan and fucking bullshit i'm sick of it fucking go fuck yourselves i hope you all die <laughs> Fucking pieces of shit. Do you well, understand that? This is what the chef, who, who of course, his last name's Hunter, because of course it is. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, I love it. This is who we are and what we do. They're offending us. I'm going to offend them. So I went and got a deer leg. He actually felt bad about it after the fact because so many people were upset. But he's like, you know what? This is hurting our business. Fuck you, people. Yeah, and that's the thing. And when you own a business, you can't have this kind of shit happening. You are so nickel and dime by the government and regulations and shit like that you can't have these people fucking pro and, and that's the thing do these protesters <laughs> understand if he shut down his business he would go bankrupt and you would put a family out in the street like what the they fuck don't care is, about humans i know and that's the thing like what the fuck is wrong with you i just I, all right quit waiting you, you understand it. quit <laughs> ranting for a second and listen to this no this makes it even funnier so uh, protesters were decrying the recently murdered deer as he was doing this and actually asked the police at the protest if what the chef doing was doing was legal. <laughs> I can't do it anymore, dude. I can't. No. Dude, these are the people that are snorting. No, condoms. cooking is illegal. <laughs> yeah, cooking. Get banned cooking. Too many people, too many animals die from it. Banned cooking. That's what we want to do with our guns, right? <laughs> yeah, listen to this shit. I felt like I had to stand up for myself, he said. He later came to regret the move, saying that he felt like he played into the activist protest, which he did, but... Eh, it's still I, uh, fucking funny. There's yeah, oh, it was it hilarious. Too. Like, if you want to watch it, there's a full video of it. Oh, yeah, but Ugger, Ugger told, uh, told the news that the counter-protest had left her feeling sad for a few days. He wanted to get us back, which I guess is easy to do. We're only there because we love animals. We were in shock. Oh, no, you fucking went to a restaurant, disrupted a man's business... Called him a murderer yeah. and then got sad when he fucking retaliated. Exactly, and you that's jackass. And that's why I was like talking about that David Hogg faggot and piece of shit like that. Yeah, I said. Yeah, listen, you know what? <laughs> and this is how good this hunter guy is. After all this shit that she did, after all this shit, uh, first off, this lady uh, offered uh, offered to stop the protests if he agreed to post a sign in the window uh, that that said, you know, attention. Uh, 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 what is it here? Yeah, he she would reduce the frequency of the protest to once a month, not stop him entirely. Reduce him to once a month if the restaurant displays a sign in its window saying, "Attention, animals' lives are their rights. Killing them is violent and unjust, no matter how it's done." So, uh, 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 like, what? What do you mean animals have rights? Animals have no rights whatsoever. You fucking piece of shit! Like, go fucking well, kill yourself. But this is how. Good what do I get mad? <laughs> this uh, this is how good this guy is. He actually plans to introduce a vegan tasting menu. He's invited oh, Ugger to God. come foraging with him. Because he forages for wild mushrooms and shit. That's just what he does. It's, it's yeah. Like, he's an outdoorsy dude. Uh -huh. She, she of course, refuses to go for the honor. You know, to, to, to go and take the offer up. I just... And, and this is the thing, like... I, uh, like I was saying about the David Hogg thing, he's like some 17-year-old activist. He's trying to get some kind of ban on weapons right now. And, and this is what I mean about... If you're going to take yourself and do something like this protest or, you know, try to ban guns or whatever like that, you're throwing yourself into an arena, and people don't understand well, so, You know what? If, if you're willing to be part of that arena, by all means, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, you have to face Braver the consequences for it. Doing it. We don't live in a world where we just get to say whatever we want, and we don't face consequences. Yeah, it's not like anybody can buy a couple hundred dollars <laughs> worth of equipment yeah. and get on, the fucking, get on the fucking internet and, and create a podcast. Um, I just, I don't, I don't, I just don't get it. And like I said, I think people are just spoiled. Uh, they have nothing else better to do. We live in fancy houses, fancy cars, air conditioned. People don't know what it's like to Some live. Some of us live in our fancy cars. Yeah. It's just <laughs> fucking weird, man. I just, I don't understand it. I, I'm, 
it, it must be these people don't have jobs or anything like that because from, you know, hanging out with Megan, doing the podcast and working and doing other things, I don't have time to do anything that stupid. Like, I don't know where they're getting the time. They must not have jobs. I just, Apparently not. I, I don't I don't get it. Well, they're so weak from not eating animals. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Fucking pieces of shit. I just, I don't, I don't understand it. It's whatever. Um, and like I said, this is the generation that's eating Tide Pods and storting condoms. So it's like, we just, let's just start over. Yeah, we ate cinnamon. Yeah. like we Our, our yeah. generation ate cinnamon. Yeah, they're eating like Tide we're Pods. we're trying to eat swin- cinnamon. Swinnaman. <laughs> That's a good word. Swinnaman. That should be the name of our new podcast, the Swinnaman episodes. No, I just, I don't get it. It's whatever. I'm done. <laughs> done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I can't, I can't stand these mother <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> I just, I can't fucking stand it. Like uh, I said, I just, I, uh, and what makes it even worse is people that throw themselves out here. They can't take anything back. Like once, once you get a little bit of, you know, attack back. It's like, oh, the world, it's so bad. Because, like, I, I hate to keep on bringing um, the, the gun debate thing up, but it's just I've been seeing a lot of it lately, and it's reminding me of this. Uh, like, the one kid had a debate with an NRA member, <laughs> and the NRA member was, like, ripping this kid apart. And you know what he said? He goes, well... She just didn't dis- agree with me. We need someone, a real debate. We need someone that agrees with me. I'm like, that's not a debate then. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Whatever. There's smarter people than us that need to address this. But, yeah, I, I well, Mel says it here. Yes, they're raised by pussies. That's absolutely right, you know. We're the fucking, you, you, you see this, uh, everybody decries the younger generation because they're the generation of fucking participation trophies. You know who's to blame? It's our generation. Oh, yeah. Because we're the ones handing them the fuck out. Yeah, I know. We need to fucking pull up our pants and start disciplining our goddamn children and shit and teach them, teach them things. I mean, you know what? Like, everybody likes to call me Mr. Liberal, but I'm actually not that liberal, especially when it comes to, like, the fucking gun rights thing. I believe in the fucking Yeah, I know. Man. You believe that just people should own their guns. And this is... And this is... People should absolutely own their gun. You know what? Here's the deal. I, I don't believe that you should be able to purchase a firearm if you you have a fucking history of mental insanity. Yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly. You know, I don't believe that you should uh, purchase a firearm if you have a history of domestic abuse, things like that. Those are the things that we should be testing for. If you have to have a license to drive a fucking car, you should have a license for a firearm, which we do. Mm-hmm. Background checks are necessary. However, that doesn't mean that you can fucking, like, ban every damn thing. It's part of our goddamn culture. I know, and that's the thing. Like, like people we think are the hunter, Second Amendment's uh, just some, like, right. It's the law. Like, like people who <laughs> grow up in cities, man. People who grow up in cities don't get the culture that that pervades it. Like I don't hunt because it's really cold. It's really in the mer- early in the morning, and it's, I don't want to go. Yeah. But I have nothing against hunting. I mean, it's a, it, it, to me, it's a waste of pe- time, pastime. Uh-huh. But people who really enjoy it, by all means, go ahead, go get you some food. You know, go get you some deer. I love a good deer steak. Anybody wants to give it to me? Cool. Yeah. And, and here's the thing: all you people out there that are against guns and shit like that. The whole reason they're not listening to you is because you make no sense. <laughs> like, this whole Parkland sh- shit, okay? You had 17 people that died. And just because I'm mentioning this doesn't mean I'm fucking not against this, okay? It's sad that these children well, Yeah, nobody wants to see kids get shot. Yeah, no one wants... But here's the thing. You're making a big deal about these 17 kids that get shot. Where are you every weekend in Chicago where 50 people die from fucking gunshots? And I'm not joking. It's that much. Detroit's worse. Yeah, Detroit's worse, man. Detroit, Detroit is basically fallout. Yeah, 50, <laughs> 50 people a weekend just die from guns. in one of the strictest no-gun law-like zones in the, in the world... Uh, actually, London just went really, really strictly no guns. Their murder rate with guns just surpassed New York City for the first time in the world. Imagine that. <laughs> um, but this is why people don't listen to you. you. You're making this big deal about these 17 people that died, but every weekend since the last like eight years, 50 people die a weekend in Chicago, and you don't care at all about that. This is why no one listens to you. You don't make sense. I've also heard, you know, these stories about all oh, the Second Amendment when they made it, they didn't have automatic weapons. Yes, they did. Gatling guns were around then. They had these. Um, okay, but to be fair, they weren't exactly prevalent. I know, but what I'm saying is, is well, let's let's not be crazy they, on either they, side of the aisle. They weren't here. just let's made for muskets. They they knew these guns were. around. My point is, let's not let's not be fucking extremists on either. Oh, we're side not being extremists, but but this is this is why I'm saying that people aren't taking them seriously because you're saying these things that make no sense, like. You can't just say, oh, you know, the Second Amendment was made for muskets. That sounds crazy because 
muskets weren't just around. They had repeating rifles then and all sorts of shit. You know what pisses me the fuck off? What? I'm out of my cancer juice. No, go and get hey. one then. <laughs> no, I'm not. You know what? Actually, I do need to take a moment, though. Uh, this is the point in the show where i got to pay some bills, so i got to tell, tell you that this episode is brought to you by uh, Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access is a VPN service, one of the best. They have clients easy to download for Windows, for Android, whatever you need. They've got it. They even have a Linux client. Uh, it can protect you, protect what you're doing online, protect your privacy. Keep your ISP from snooping on what you're doing. Prevent throttling with, since the net neutrality thing is apparently going in the garbage. <laughs> uh, you know, you can make sure that uh, your traffic is not treated unfairly. So make sure everything is on the level. Uh, the best way to sign up for private internet access and help us out at the same time is to go through our link, which is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn. Again, that is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn. Thank you. And uh, you know what? I have another story if we have time. Do we have time for another story? I think. Oh, we yeah. Do. We, still, we still have like fucking 25 minutes left, I think. What time we start? Like 8? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Started, we, started, like, right we actually eight. started on time yeah. for a change. Right. Uh, I like this, though. Like, as much as a pain in this ass this all this shit was, this is well worth it, we I think. We told you. It I know. It sounds really good right now. It does it? Yeah. How do, you, how do you guys like it? Do you like the sound? Do you think the quality is better? Because... We, uh, we're really trying to trying to improve and i haven't here. really been but it's it's pr- i'm not gonna lie it's pretty much been all jade and greg it's been mostly <laughs> it's been mostly greg i'm here for moral support and yeah. throwing ideas out once in a while but i stayed out on purpose because i really don't know a lot about audio and well greg, greg's an it guy he's yeah. a, he's our coked up it guy yeah and that's that's why we wanted him to do it i i i did like one thing earlier that i was proud of <laughs> I, I put rubbed one out yeah rubbed one out dude i'm on shot six don't end at nine don't take nine shots or you're going to be on the floor. <laughs> I think you should end on six. Jesus Christ. That's probably about <laughs> enough. Alcohol poisoning waiting. Yeah. How yeah. about... Is, uh, she, is she still drinking the Tennessee Fire? Yeah, that's her That's her drink of choice. Huh. Nice. Uh, so, anyway, I wanted to talk about this story just because I found it pretty interesting. So, if you're familiar with the Offspring, they're all a bunch of nerds. Okay? Really? Uh, yeah. Big time nerds. I mean, fuck the lead singer's nickname's Dexter, for God's sake. <laughs> a- anyway, um... And the guitar player's name's Noodles. Are you serious? Yeah. Jesus. Anyway, so their original drummer, uh, James Ilya, Lilia, Lilha. Anyway, he was their original drummer, and as soon as he got accepted into medical college, he left the band because uh, 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 Mandy says, I'm good, guys. I am. <laughs> All right, so anyway, uh, he left the band to become uh, a doctor, and he went into specialist for OBGYN. Which might I add, doesn't that sound like a Star Wars character? Yeah. Hey, I'm a BGYN. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so he ha- was in uh, the Alameda County Court in California to face claims against him uh, for mispractice because some of the the plaintiff plaintiff, plaintiff? yeah plaintiff uh, alleged he was uh, negligent when he treated her. But anyway, so as the jury pool was being selected, a uh, potential juror went into cardiac arrest and hit his head, lost consciousness, a whole big thing. And uh, and the doctor saved his life. Yeah, exactly. And the doctor and former drummer for The Offspring uh, saved the guy's life. Or, you know, uh, brought him back. He was fine. Uh, they ended up having to call it a mistrial. Because there is no fucking way anybody in that jewelry pool selection would convict the guy after he saved feel, one of the jurors' lives. I feel like we need to, yeah, come out and play. Oh, man. Uh, I, wish, I wish I had that right now. We, so, of course, <laughs> of course, the doctor uh, says no deed goes unpunished. He was he was overheard saying as mm-hmm. the mistrial was ordered. That's some bullshit, though, you know? It's like you, know, you save somebody's life, and now all of a sudden... You so know, what, they just do CPR on them? Is that, is that I don't basically know what, what happened? Did. I mean... And you said this was the drummer from The Offspring? Yeah, but he was the original drummer. Like, he wasn't and there he was for on, any of the hits. Oh, okay. Cause I, really I think like, he might have played on Smash. That's the only album I like from them. They're, really? I like yeah, all of them. Really. I don't. Ugh. The new one's all, like, poppy and shit. They're like, oh, let's be on MTV more. Oh. Yeah, I, I like pop punk, though. So. I don't know why that just reminded me. I watched the new Jumanji movie. Did yeah, you, I saw that. Did you see it? Trash. I thought well, it was funny. I thought it was funny as shit, man. I, I'm glad it, uh, it's a sequel. Oh, I didn't watch it. Yeah, it is. I didn't realize it was a sequel. I'm glad it was because oh, yeah. I thought they were just completely remaking it completely different. But no, it is a sequel. Yeah, it's a sequel. It should be Jumanji 2. Yeah, it should be. But um, I thought it was just cool because 
it was a board game and the kid picks it up. He goes, who plays a board game anymore? And so it chan- transforms itself into an electronic like game. Right. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And that, and that, you know, the one part that made me really realize that it was a sequel is when it said Alan Parrish was here, was carved into that tree. Uh-huh, yeah. So I was like, all right, good. I'm glad. And I thought it was cool that like, the, there was just some really cool, like the rock, rock bottom, someone in it. <laughs> like who doesn't like that? Oh yeah. Like I was waiting for the people's elbow. I was all excited. I was I like, like the rock. You know what? When, I he, love the when rock. he first started as an actor, he was God awful. Like oh, the yeah. Scorpion King was terrible. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> that movie fucking. And he still doesn't act great, but he's, he's no worse than any other. Yeah. That movie star. sucked more dicks than a porn star. Like, it was just, it was way fucking... How many it was, dicks does a porn star suck? I don't know, a lot, man. They do, like, two scenes sometimes. That thing must be, oh, feel like sandpaper, dude. I, I don't even know how, like, guys can fuck that much. Jesus Christ. I remember I watched this one porn. I this don't guy, know. I, I've been known to do it quite a bit. <laughs> and, and this guy Wait. started coming blood, and I was like, give that guy a break, dude. <laughs> like, he was just, you seen this, like, just red fucking blood shoot out of his dick and then the rest was calm how'd he do bend it in half no but i I, he was fucking all day probably he was probably like sort like you remember futurama snoo snoo (laughs) (laughs) listen i i don't mean to toot my own horn here but i I, i've been known to be rather promiscuous (laughs) in a day with with the wifey and um never once have i come to blood Really, I, I have never, I have never been a Cannibal Corpse title. But uh, see, I know that's the thing. It does sound like a fucking. <laughs> it is a Cannibal Corpse title. Is it really? Yeah, that's I awesome. call him blood. That's awesome. Yeah. We should, we can, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've we've we do okay. <laughs> we just, do okay. We, we do okay. And I, I've, I've never, never come blood either. And if I did, I'd fucking i I'd, I'd be scared to tell you the truth. Well, would, yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Women are supposed to have blood come out of theirs, yeah. not ours. Exactly, three to four times, about eight times a week. Jesus Christ, Jay. <laughs> uh, that might that might even be a little low. <laughs> that might be a little low. Oh man, you guys, and she's crying for some reason. Now she's crying. She's, she's too emotional. Loud crying. How how was your trip to Ohio, by the way? Oh, uh, it was pretty good. Like I said, I get I get along pretty well with my. No in-laws. one died or anything. Everyone's good. No. Um. Like I said, I got along pretty well with my in-laws. It was nice visiting. Um, the thing that sucked is I'm going on a really strict keto diet right now, and uh, her mom, everything she cooks is carb to hell. <laughs> and it's tempting because her mom's a good cook. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, in the non-gourmet sense, and like the I fucking take biscuits and roll pepperoni and cheese in them kind of way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, And I'm man. like sitting there looking at them like, fuck this shit. <laughs> This sucks. I love food, man. I, I have some uh, Itchy Bon waiting for me after the show. Megan got it for me. <laughs> itchy Bon. Yeah, I haven't been there in years. I, oh, wait, I actually, wait. What? You guys are official now. Oh, yeah, we oh, are. Yeah. Yes, is, I saw that I, on Facebook. Yeah, I could say that now. I have Megan. a Facebook now. They finally they finally broke me to the Facebook side. So Megan is officially my girlfriend now. We can Holy all shit. We can all get it over it's with. It's about time. <laughs> my first relationship in 15 years. <laughs> That you you want to know how much I hate women? I was single for 15 years. How much I hated women, but now she's changed my mind on that. She cooks for me. She gives me a little blowy every once in a while. We're good. Because <laughs> you don't have high standards, do you? No, no. See, <laughs> that, that's the underlying key right there. She sucks dick. I'll, she can be my girlfriend. No, that's I hate girls that don't suck dick. It's do like they a, still make girls? That I don't know, suck and dick? that's the thing. Do they? Because that's such a pet peeve of mine. I remember it was just this one girl. She's like, I don't want to. I don't want it in my mouth. Like, oh, I hate girls that don't suck dick. It pisses me off to like the extreme of where I'm seeing red. And speaking of rock movies, I want to see Rampage. <laughs> I cannot believe they made that. I know. I they, cannot believe they, they made a movie based on Rampage. If people don't know what we're talking about, there's this old NES game. And it's called if you Rampage. don't know what we're talking about, get the fuck out of yeah, our show. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> All right. And it's an amazing fucking game. There's so many levels. There's hundreds of levels, I think. And you just basically, you're these creatures. You punch buildings. Yeah, you punch buildings. You That's the entirety cities. of the show. It's amazing. And game. somehow... Hollywood reached up their rectums and grabbed the movie out of it. I don't know how they did, um, but it's it's here's an great. existing property people will like. <laughs> here's the Rock. Yeah, like he's some zookeeper and he's raising a monkey in it. And, and you know, if you actually follow the the very slim, mind you, storyline of Rampage, uh-huh. uh, like George and Lizzie and all those characters were actually scientists that got mutated. Like it's not, it wasn't yeah. a monkey. Thing. Yeah. And that's the thing. Some nuclear thing happens next to this monkey, and he gets like all crazy. His name's George, I think, or some shit. But uh, that also reminds me. I'm going to see the second Pacific Rim tomorrow. I can't wait. Oh, I, 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 those movies didn't do anything for me. Really? I yeah. liked it because, like, like uh, 
uh, the Transformer movies, besides being god awful because Michael Bay directed them, um, they were too fast. What? They were too fast. Uh, you didn't really have this feeling that the robots were big and huge. In Pacific Rim, they move slow. They're like, you know, Ugh. you know, manly. Like uh, Tim uh, Allen. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just have a great love for those those. Uh, I guess we're calling them kaiju movies now. Yeah, but back that's in the what day, I always called them fucking monster movies. No, yeah. uh, you know, and. I, I absolutely adored those movies coming out of Japan, you know, watching the bad dubs on, I think it was TBS or TNT, mm -hmm. one of the two. They used to play, like, a uh, a marathon of them uh, every year on some holiday, and it would, you know, they'd have uh, Blue Oyster Cult's Godzilla playing in the man. bumpers. I, like uh, any, I used to watch all of them, man. I, I like any them. kind of monster movies. Like, I really, really like, did you see the new Godzilla that came out probably, no, like, no, three or four I years don't. ago? No, it I was don't, so I don't good. care. It was so good, dude. Um... And what made it good was the camera angles. This guy that made this film, I guess he directed an, uh, a movie a while ago about monsters that took over the world. And he goes through the whole movie making you scared of these monsters and he never shows them up. That's how great he is with like artsy like filming and shit like that. And it was amazing. Like I felt like I was there sometimes watching Godzilla destroy these cities and I was like, holy shit. It was fucking cool. If you haven't seen that yet, I, I think it came out like five years ago or something like that really cool and of course japan had problems with it because they said he was too fat godzilla oh for god's sake. i might <laughs> i might have to watch it eventually if you say it's good but uh it's really good i like how he filmed it it was just really cool like there was this uh part where he's at an airport and he's just just no one sees him yet and you're standing inside of the airport the camera is and the and, and the airport has these huge windows, and all of a sudden you just see Godzilla destroying shit, and it made you feel like you were in the airport, like you were like, holy shit! He just he filmed stuff, and I can't remember his name, but I thought he did an amazing job, really good job. Well, good for him. Good for him. Good for <laughs> him. Uh, I did finish uh, Daredevil finally. How'd you uh, like it? Uh, the first season was really good. The second season, I had a hard time keeping my attention. With really? It. Like, the Electra storyline, I know they had to bring Electra into it, but I just didn't care about Electra. <laughs> they didn't make me yeah, care she has about tits, her. That's about it. Yeah, she's not. She just. They made her such a. <laughs> in my opinion, a single faceted <coughs> character. Uh -huh. I didn't like her. Uh, they made Stick completely unlikable. And really? yeah, Stick's a dick. Yeah, but... Stick was a fucking asshole. That's, that's pretty much what they just went for. Uh, this is they made stick an asshole. I mean, they chose a fantastic actor to play stick. I can't think of his name, but he also played Wes in uh, in Urban Cowboy. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, you know, Wes, uh, stick they made like n completely unlikable. Like you, you when when Matt is saving stick, you're just like, why? Let him fucking. Die. <laughs> I know. Let him fucking die. Let him fucking let, let Electra kill him. Maybe they'll kill each other. They yeah. suck. That that is about though. Out of all the superhero things that Marvel's been doing on. Netflix right now. That's probably the best one. The Punisher one's really good. Oh, the Punisher was fit, blew it away. Yeah. Um, um, I'm I'm glad they introduced the Punisher in the second season, but they didn't even devote enough to make you care about him. Yeah, exactly. Like car the only character that you actually care about in both of those is Foggy and Karen. Yeah, exactly. Like everybody else sucks, and you know, right. and you know, Karen's gonna meet a terrible end because if you ever follow the fucking comic books, she ends up being a coming a heroin addict and a bunch oh, of shit really? down the road. She sort of looks like a heroin addict. Whoever plays her is like she really she skinny. becomes a prostitute and a heroin addict. Nice. And, Good it's job. Just, that uh, fucking went from zero to hundred. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I'm I, I gotta watch the Defenders yet, I guess. I don't Defenders care about Jessica good. Jones. Jessica Jones is actually really good. It took me by surprise. Really? Um, it's just See, they're uh, just reviving all these properties no one cares about. I know, but like, the thing is, is like what makes it interesting, like like again, like Daredevil did was the villain. This villain well, yeah, but, but controls the King, her mind. Technically and it's the, awesome. <laughs> technically the Kingpin's a Spider Man villain. Yeah, that's true. But you know, I mean Vince D'Onofrio did a great job oh with God, him and made him actually much better. He's one of the best villains I've ever seen portrayed in a show. Like it's just so fucking amazing. Like every time they show something about him, you're just like <gasps> And it just makes me want to. <laughs> I love having a soundboard. I don't love you? having a soundboard right now. <laughs> I like this too. Oh, yeah. No, we thanks, Greg. Though he he's been sitting here this whole time just making sure that everything is running right. Because like we said, we yeah, Greg's the new director now. Yeah, he's the new director. Do you hey. just want to sit there all the time, Greg? Sure. Because <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to fuck with this all the time. Oh, really? Probably. So you've been you've been uh, adjusting the levels and all that. Fucking yeah. Greg is now our engineer. Yeah, good. We don't have any money to pay you though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
He likes this show. You have drugs, though, so it's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, he likes this show. I don't know why. We're idiots, but... I don't know, man. I, I, it was sort of a good idea when you were like, hey, Casey, you want to do a podcast? I'm like, well, how in the fuck are we going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, it'll cost us less than $200. Yeah. Let's do it. I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I remember when I said I'd do it, we were at work together or something like that, and you sat right down, you're like, look, we can order this right now. Do you have money on you? I'm like, yeah, here you go. We just bought Bum, the mixer. Done. Yeah. The mixer and the mics. Yeah, we bought it right away. I'm glad we did it. We've come a long way too. Yeah, this is all this technology and shit. This is another step if, forward. And if we get that radio station going, that opens a whole new facet. Yeah, of we just really we need do. money. Yes, we do. <laughs> Remember, help us out. Patreon.com/slash Openly Hostile Opinions for as little as five bucks a month. The cost of a cup of freaking cancer coffee. Yeah, cancer it? coffee. Everything's who cancer. The, who the fuck's paying five dollars for coffee? Fucking basic. Anybody who goes Holy to fucking shit. Starbucks, brother. White girls that wear y- Uggs and fucking, I don't know, watch the Kardashians. I better get fucking stoned off this shit or something. <laughs> <laughs> about it. Uh, by the way, sometime this week, I'm going to be doing a live stream of, um, I'm going to pick one of my favorite retro video games and uh, I'm going to do a live stream playing it. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what time. It might be in the middle of the fucking night because that's when I have off. Uh, so we'll we'll see, but sometime this week that is going to happen. So it might be on the weekend. We'll see. Yeah, I want to start streaming stuff. I might. I don't know yet. Stream me playing WoW tonight, but I'm not sure because uh, chat because uh, what's their names get pretty crazy. <laughs> Your girlfriend? No, the people I play WoW with. Oh, like they make fun of guys in wheelchairs and shit. Like we <laughs> we had a guy that was playing in a wheelchair and they made fun of him so much he just left. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Like well, it was bad. You just have to warn him that this is part of the show and who cares? We, we we say whatever we want. Like I think what really did it is we were wiping to this boss for a while and he goes, "I'll suck everyone's dick if we beat this boss." And the one guy was like, "You can't get on your knees though." And I was just <laughs> gone. <laughs> <laughs> And I yeah, you should definitely stream that. Yeah, that, that'd, that'd be entertaining should. as fuck. Um, yeah, because I already have OBS on my gaming computer from when we, you know. Yeah, we don't need. You X. can put this on there too. Put what? Exploit. Yeah. Do I need a password and stuff like that? You, yeah, you know the, the same, password. It's the same. You know the Everything. you know the username and password. Oh, trust okay, me. okay, okay, okay. We just, we can only run on one computer at a time. Yeah, like it can't straight. Like I can put it on mine when I'm streaming, as long as you're not trying to stream well, at the same time. Yeah, when you do that, okay, whatever. Let you. me know because I want to watch it. I want to know what it's like on the other end. All right, I'll, I'll do that, and you can watch me play. I, I already have the game picked out that I want to want to play because it was one of my favorites. It's an SNES game. It's not going to be Earthbound yet, even though that's my favorite game in the world because I don't have like sixty hours to do it. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to play one for like an hour, hour and a half, something like that. But I'm going to do that this week, so all right. uh, I'll let you know. You'll be awake all night long, I'm sure. So even if I do it at like three a.m., you'll probably be oh, fine. Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just. But of course, you'll be able to rewatch it down the road. Everything will be saved on YouTube. They just post it all over the twatter and everything like that, and we'll be good. Well, I want to. We're going to be wrapping up here in a minute, but I wanted to take a moment to tell you guys. Um, make sure you're following our socials. Uh, if you haven't found out, we're on Twitter at Hostile Opinions. We're on Facebook at Facebook.com/slash Openly Hostile Opinions. Uh, follow us there. It's a good uh, thing you mentioned that because I Instagram. wanted to say, yeah, yep. Greg just created an Instagram. Yep, we have an Instagram now. You can follow you can't us on really Instagram. Can't really put video on there so much, but. But, but yeah, we, we do post pictures. Yeah, we're, I, 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 I promised myself that once I found out we have an Instagram because Greg made it, uh, I'm going to try to post something once a day on our Instagram. So if you have Instagram, try to get to that. I'm going to make um, some clips of just, you know, clips. Yeah. Clips. Funny shit. Yeah. A funny shit yeah. that we, we just can put videos up. It has to be under 60 seconds. Yeah, it has to be under 60. That's why we can't put full episodes on. But just yeah. if you if you're in the funny memes and stuff like that, like that's basically what I post is funny memes. If you like that kind of stuff, follow us on Instagram. It's new. Yeah, check it. Make sure you get us on all of our socials. If you're not subscribed to us on YouTube, please uh, Tumblr. do so. Tum- we have Tumblr. We have a Tumblr. Are you really? serious? Well, yep. okay, we're on Tumblr. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, everyone, everyone, give a big so, round of applause for Greg. Yeah, He's been great. He's been great. Fucker gets out of. Fucker gets out of the out of the joint. And he fucking <laughs> just takes over everything for us. Yeah, doesn't talk much, but it's okay. He he jerks me. He, he's our <laughs> engineer. Hey, <laughs> don't let Megan see. <laughs> You're supposed to be a secret. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Nah, that oh. shit is delicious. I know. I probably have hepatitis, but it was worth it. Right. <laughs> you know, it, it's been a while since we did a shout out. I wanted to say thank you to all of our patrons. We appreciate mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Um, you guys make this happen, and hopefully we get more of you guys and we can get that radio station off the ground. 
because once that happens, you know, you'll be able to share share your oho love with work, you know, uh -huh. at work or at home or in the hot tub, making love to your lady. <laughs> uh, so thank you to our patrons. Thank you to those on the board of the badasses. You guys see your names in the nice little scroll at the end of the show every week. We really do appreciate you guys. Everything you've all done for us has been a big help and helped us get where we are today, which yeah. is still nowhere but further than we were. We're working on it. And then <laughs> thanks to everyone for, you know, coming up on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Periscope, like usual. I feel like we have a lot of people on Periscope, but thanks for coming in on, on the Facebook and everything so we know if it works. Even Melvin said something. I can't believe that. Um, so, yeah, just thanks to everybody, man, for being patient, listening to us and everything like that. We're, we're really just trying to make things better for you guys, but... And uh, if you it's have anybody... Uh, money! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if you guys know anybody who might find our nonsense amusing please pass this has been the openly hostile yes. opinions all right everybody podcast. i think we're gonna wrap yeah, things I'm up starving. I, I want to so, so thanks again everyone have a good one see you later next week on YouTube, bye google play itunes and your favorite podcast app be sure to like subscribe rate and comment if you want to help make all this possible become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>